Right. Welcome to 364 Jefferson. Um, this is the entryway with a coat closet and we lead into the living room with fireplace and a great picture window going to looking over the front. There's my white car and some great rainbows drawn by the children and open to the dining room. And this was one of the um, improvements the current landlord did. There was a wall between the dining room and kitchen and they opened it up. So this kitchen is only three years old and stainless steel appliances and an island and some shelves which remain in the property but we can remove them if you wish. And a little place to put stools. So, door to the back. <coughs> door to the backyard. And this is a nice bonus spot, a nice sunroom, sitting room. Again, windows on three ceilings and a vaulted ceiling. So hardwood th floors are throughout this living space. And now we're going to go to the lower level. The lower level, excuse the judderiness of the phone as I go down the stairs. The lower level has a full bath with a shower stall. tile floor and then there is a bonus room a fourth bedroom which has a closet it's a good size could be an office or a playroom and access to the basement I'm not going down but here's where the laundry is but you can see great storage and then a door on the lower level to the two car garage Again, good for storage, bicycles, and all the paraphernalia that families need. <laughs> so, I'm going back upstairs to the main level. And you'll notice actually there is a door here that can close the kitchen off, which is kind of convenient. And then we're going to the bedroom level, up a few, few more flights of stairs from the foyer and we have a hall bath. The hall bath has also been renovated. It's got a nice shower tub combo. You can see me in the reflection of the glass or uh, the, the tile, so I apologize. And then we have a double vanity. We have storage either side, and then we go into the bedrooms. This is bedroom number three. You'll see has windows on two sides and it has a good deep closet. And again, let's pan round for you to get an idea of the size of the room. That's a, that looks like it could be a double. You can see it's plenty of room to fit a queen quite easily. So it's bedroom number three. Bedroom number two is has one window facing the front. Again, double size bed in here, so it's pretty spacious to get you an idea of the, the size of the room. And I can send you floor plans 
as well from the listing when it was for sale. And then we go into the master. The master is a really big space. It has a decent walk-in closet with window, which is nice, so you're not getting dressed in the dark. And it has a closet here, and it has size. The bedroom is a good size. It's probably, you know, definitely a king size would fit in here. And it has three windows, so lots of nice natural light. Hope this gives you a good idea of the space. And then we have the master bath, which again was renovated when the landlord bought the property. Has a single vanity, a tub and a stall shower. It's not huge, but it does the job. So the house has three full baths and has a tub, a two tub, a one tub shower, and it has two, uh, two bathrooms with stall showers. But this is a nice, a good space. And just an idea of what the view is like from the master bedroom. It has, the property has a patio and it is fenced in. I'll take some video out there as well in a minute. But that is in essence the house. Again, here we are. So the whole house has hardwood floors apart from the room in the lower level, which is laminate flooring, which is really nice. And as you can see, they really are in spanking good condition. So all in all, pretty cool house. Great location. I'll add some video of the exterior. And um, I hope that helps. And let me just go. And here's the cupboard, the entry hall. So to give you an idea of that. And there we go. So it's not compared to a lot of split levels where you walk in to the living room, this has its own private foyer, which is nice. It gives you a little bit of space between the front door and your living area. So, again, let me pan around the living room and the kitchen from the foyer double sink, I forgot to mention that. This is a quartz countertop, so it's really hard wearing. You don't have to do the maintenance on it like you do granite or marble. There's the island again, cupboards under the island. And here's a great view from the kitchen to the dining area. And again, the view from outside. And then we walk through again one more time to the sitting room. So there you have it. Hope that helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.